best cure for a hangover? Going to an onsen. Does Bangkok have onsen? Well, not in a traditional sense, but we do have day spas that have Japanese onsen facilities. So today I'll take you guys to Bangkok's three best onsen to compare. And give you my honest opinion, which one is the best? So, let's go! First place is Let's Relax Onsen. On the 5th floor of Grand Center Point Sukhumvit 55 Hotel, about 15 minute walk from BTS Tonglo Station. It's a very popular massage chain, and this is the only branch in Bangkok that has onsen facilities. So, when you think of onsen, right? Um, you picture that outdoor Japanese real onsen, right? The term onsen that's used here, it's more like public bath, like you know, super sento in Japan or Korea. Will you wait for your massages? I cannot take you inside the onsen because obviously I cannot take footages of naked people. I'll right? uh, show you pictures from their official website. Let's go. Asari cup, all size leg. Inside, it has very Muji-like clean and modern design. There are over 5 different types of bath, and I heard they import the best mineral water powder from Takayama, Japan. You might wonder why you would come to onsen in a hot tropical country like Thailand, right? But let me tell you, it's really relaxing, and it's the best thing to do for your hangover. So why is onsen so popular in Thailand? There are many Japanese factories and companies in Thailand, and in Bangkok alone, there are more than 60,000 Japanese expats. So many public baths like these started popping up since the 90s, especially around the Japanese neighborhoods like Tongla and Ekamai. Usually I like to come here like on the weekends, I just easily spend half a day here. And I often just come alone because I'm a little bit shy in front of my friends, so I'd rather see you know, strangers but not my own friends or families. I can't come here with someone I know. But I find that Thai people are not shy at all. Chicken sandwich. Unfortunately, they didn't have the Japanese set here today. Chicken sandwich. Shall we go check out the other facilities? Let's go. 15 degrees. Oh, I'm inside the fridge. This is actually one of the coolest places in Bangkok. But every time I miss winter, I come here. This is my secret spot where I read books and then just relax. So I'm gonna compare two other onsens. Those three onsens are the ones that I usually go to. So the next onsen that we're gonna check out is Pampuri Wellness and you can easily access through the sky bridge from Chitlom or Siam BTS stations. It's inside Gaison village. Skywalk and then you go through the Gaison mall and go through Gaison Kapun towards the Gaison village, a building right behind this mall and go to the 12th floor. As you may know, Pampuri is a very well-known Thai luxury brand that specializes in fine fragrances, bath and body products. You've probably seen their store somewhere. And this is their first onsen. Definitely feels the most luxurious out of the three, and I really like 
the fresh aromatic Thai herbs that they use in the steam room. You can get a very nice view of the city during sunset. I heard there's even New Year's countdown where you can enjoy onsen, New Year's fireworks with a glass of champagne. Hmm, I would like to try that one day. So I just finished the onsen part and Han Puri Wellness definitely feels a lot more luxurious and exclusive than the other two. It's also the most expensive one, you know, $7.50 for onsen entry. There aren't that many people here on the weekdays, though that's the time I usually come here. I wouldn't say it's, it's not quite Japanese, but think of very luxurious Thai spa. Uh, and that's modern. If you like to be more private, and quiet place. I think Pampuri Wellness could be a good option for you. I don't usually go to fancy places for massage. I usually go to just those regular massage parlors near my house. That's around only 300 or 400 baht. Less than $10 per hour massages. For me, that's already good enough. The massage here is hotel price. I have actually never tried the massage here because it's so expensive. But if you have tried their massage here before, please let me know if it was good or not so that I can try next time. The food in Pampuri focuses on holistic wellness and healthy lifestyle. So their Thai and Western inspired menu is made with organic seasonal ingredients, very clean and well-balanced food that promotes good health. You just feel like your body is getting healthier. The Thai way. Isn't that? Roasted salmon with sun-kissed orange sauce. Very clean and light tasting. Um, the salmon is a little bit overcooked, dry, but the sauce is very light and citrusy. I think I'm gonna go for a little bit of soy sauce. Mm. It's better with soy sauce. I usually come here with a book and I read in the relaxing room over there. Soak up in the onsen again and then go go back and forth between the hot pool and the cold icy pool and it feels like there's electricity running through your body and it totally relaxes your muscle and promotes good sleep and blood circulation i get such good night's sleep and that's that's why i keep coming back i think shall we go to the last onsen together let's go our last stop today is the famous Yunomori Onsen, the Satong branch, which is only 5 minute walk from BTS Cheongnongsi okay. or St. Louis stations. Yunomori Onsen and Spa Sukumbi 26, which opened in 2012 claims to be the first authentic Japanese onsen spa in Thailand where you can enjoy both traditional Japanese onsen with traditional Thai massage. For me, the original branch feels more like authentic Japanese onsen but it's 15 to 20 minute walk from the closest BTS station, Prompong. So I usually go to the newer Satong branch which is also a lot bigger. Many people don't know but actually, there's a Japanese tea garden on the rooftop, so make sure to check that out also, okay? The onsen is on the second floor of the main building. And the best part? You get to pick your favorite yukata outfit. There are over seven different types of baths and I heard they use water 
brought directly from the lotus springs of Kanchanaburi's Wat Wangkanai, known for its healing benefits of its thermal waters. My favorite one is their Yunomori signature bath that uses Epsom salt, tea leaves, and essential oil. With Japan being the most popular destination for Thai tourists, it's no wonder the onsen culture naturally became very popular in Thailand, at least in Bangkok. They come here for several hours. I do the onsen thing and then I get into my yukata and I come here to eat and drink. And also I go up there to uh, take a nap and then read some books. Oh, I should remind you one thing. When you're booking for a massage, if you book for an aroma or oil massage, after the massage session, you cannot go back into the onsen. But if you take Thai massage, you can go back and forth anytime you want. So that's why I usually take Thai massage. As a big foodie, I must review all the food. So Penpuri has the best Thai and Western food, and Yunomori definitely has the best Japanese food. And for less relaxed Tonglo, hmm, let's just say they need improvement as they only have limited options. So which one was my favorite? It really depends on your preference. If you like somewhere quiet and if you want to be alone, a let's relax Tong Lok could be a good option for you. If you like something more upscale, like more luxury and exclusive, if you like luxury brand, I think Tempuri Wellness could be a good option for you. Honestly, my personal favorite is Yunomori Onsen, uh, both branches. The, the one in Sukhumvit tends to be more quiet and uh, the one in Saton is a newer branch. Really, really huge here. Every time I come here, I feel like I'm traveling to Japan. If you're coming with your family or friends, I think Yunomori could be more fun. Let me know which onsen you like the most in Bangkok. And did you find any other smaller onsen that you like to share? Please let me know in the comment section below. Alright, this is TJ from TJ Stories and I will see you next time. Annyeong, oyasumi nasai. Yeah, thanks for watching till the end of this video. Here are some money saving tips I learned over the years when you book for your massages. First, it's called a website or application called Gowabi. And it's an application that's specially designed for spas and massages. So you can easily find maybe some of your favorite spas offering discounts and vouchers. And this is where I usually get my onsen, Yunomori or Penpuri onsen vouchers. There's another YouTube story that I did. Top three luxury spas in Bangkok. In that video, I share a lot more money-saving tips when you book for your favorite massage spas in Thailand. So make sure to check that out also. I hope you guys have relaxing time next time you come visit Thailand. And I'll see you next time. Nyeong, sawadee